Hello. Welcome to the poor man's neck brace. This is what happens when the cartilage in your neck, you know, the one that holds the discs in place, decides to go kaput. Not even four full months since my last surgery and it is looking more and more likely that I'm due for another one soon. So, I have had to do this in order to support my neck whenever I need to bend over to relieve the pain in my low spine that we still haven't gotten under control. And I just thought I'd share it because this is what a flare can look like. And I've been in a massive one for the last two weeks. It's system-wide. Absolutely everything has gone bonkers. And it is disheartening because this is also the fourth month that I'm on demethotrexate and I am awaiting its benefits. So far we have seen some. My eyes, the scleritis, and the damage and nodules is looking a little better. It's not great yet, but I have less days with the photophobia and uh, general pain and leakage and all that fun stuff that goes with it. So, yeah, got that. I got about five areas in my sternum where the ribs connect to the bone with the cartilage that are inflamed and in crazy pain. I actually drew on it, but I forgot to take pictures. I just did it to show my mom. Let's see here. See there? And it went all the way down. There's a mark down there. And it goes all over here where I have a cluster of little tumors on my cartilage. Those are all angry. Yeah, joints are crazy. My knee is swollen. I've got a rash all over my legs that looks like garbage. So it's a good thing I like wearing funky knee-high socks and tights because I don't think I'll ever get to wear just bare legs anymore without a crazy purple-yellow rash. Uh, so that's something to come to terms with. The other thing, um, having a bit of situation with some joints in my toes now and in my fingers. Then I went from having occasional migraines over the years to having migraines every day to having migraines at least once a day at the exact same time, which is between 3.30 a.m. and 5 a.m. I am punched awake with a migraine and I used to joke when it would happen way back in the day and I'd get up and start dealing with it and I'd say you know, nothing like an aneurysm first thing in the morning and I had no idea. Um, I've only had one in all the years prior a headache that was beyond migraine that required an ambulance and it was a cluster and now in the last four months I've had five of them and one this morning. And that sucks. I don't know if that's going to be related to the neurologic symptoms. I have now an eye droopiness and a mouth droopiness that have come along and that sucks because those are that means there's something affecting my neurologic state and I'm not too sure because that's that's rare in this rare disease. So to have Stanford say to me that I am unique to them. I am way worse than what they usually see. It's usually much more mild, they say, which for this disease, mild is still really bad. Um, so yay, I'm even more rare than the rare disease that I have. And we're still waiting the one last test and so I had a heart monitor for a while to try to figure out if it is my heart that is causing my trouble with breathing um, and tachycardia is always there um, or I'm due to start seeing a pulmonologist soon to try and figure out it, what the percentage of air I'm actually getting in when I feel breathless um, which is a lot. I started charting when I get ready to go to doctor's appointments with uh, this little heart monitor on and it is insane. I go up to a hundred and a sustained 180 average heart rate while I'm just trying to get ready to leave the house. 
it, it's, it explains why I sweat so much and I'm shaking and I have trouble breathing. So that's either going to be coming from the heart, the lungs, or the trachea. Um, the trachea shows signs of inflammation and repair, just like the ocular nerves. Um, yeah. So this is what it can look like. Right now I'm not crying. <laughs> I've been crying a lot and uh, one of these days maybe I'll be brave enough to show you what it's like when the pain is unbearable and uh, truly agony. Uh, I, I don't use that word lightly. I have very high pain tolerance and oh yeah, it has not been a fun week or two or 18 years. So anyway, um, just want to start documenting this and let everyone see. It sucks. By the way, in case you don't know, it's called relapsing polychondritis and I have secondary lupus, Sjogren's, and scleritis as well. Those are all their own autoimmune disease that affect other areas. So, yeah, fun. Fun, fun. All right, I hope you enjoyed this educational video that I've made of how life can suck in a flare. Bye.